Supremalize Entertainment. Yo, it's your boy Just. We back at it again, man. But this time I got a special guest with me. As always, you know what I'm saying? A good brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh it's, it's so many things I can say about this brother. You know what I mean? He used to come down to Philly and holler at me, you know what I'm saying? The shows in Philly, all the way from Allentown, PA. Like that was like a two-hour drive. He used to take <laughs> to come down there just to do a show. It only really lasted like maybe an hour or two, you know what I mean? To drive all the way back to Allentown. So Kudos to that brother, my man, my man right here doing that for me. Uh, we did that for a couple of years down in Philly and shit. So, yeah, exactly. no, no, no introduction, man. Uh, it's my man Doomsday. You know what I mean? Straight from out of town, PA. What's going on, guy? How you today, bro? Peace, peace, family. Everything. I'm feeling miraculous, man. Feel good, man. Being alive, man. In these wicked days and times right now, it's just, it's just crazy out there. So, being alive every day is a holiday. You feel me? Absolutely, because it is crazy out there, bro. Like this, this coronavirus, and I mean, you know, black people getting lynched every time you turn around, some way, some fashion. You know what I mean? We so, got a little yeah. bit of everything going against us, son. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's it's time to squad up now or never. Speaking of squad up, good luck with this for the for the hoodie. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, no yeah, doubt. Hope for your head squad. Appreciate head squad. the support. To appreciate the support, man. We got to support yeah, each man. other, man. A lot more. This shit nice too, bro. Like we we just, we just talking about. You know I'm saying how we got this done. That you told me you got some stuff done overseas. You know what um, I mean, you know, which was was probably was good for you for as price wise, but you saying the time wise was like yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm trying. You know, I'm trying to spark up my entrepreneurship, man. You know what I'm saying, and do a lot of overseas, um, you know, business. You know what I'm saying because that's that's our money stretch long over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, one yeah, dot yeah. one dollar one here might be 20 over there. So, you know what I'm saying? We got to take our investments and, and put our money into something over there. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, I was working with a cat from over there in Bangladesh. You know what I'm saying? Good Muslim brother. And, uh, yeah, he makes some good quality gear and all that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my brother, uh, Muhammad. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just, you know. Like I said, man, promptness, man. It's prompt time. It's, it's not up, to, it's not up to par. So you know, I can understand. You know, I got You know, I understand it's overseas, so it takes a little more time. But you know, you know, with the COVID too, they was they were slowing down the mailing process and everything. You know what I mean? Right, right. So it, man, it'll be on hold. My gear be on hold for months. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, damn, man. So it's it's messing up my paper. So, you know, right, yeah, money invested in everything. You got money invested in it. You waiting, you waiting to get that money to recoup that money back. Mm -hmm. You just sit there like, fuck my shit at, like. <laughs> you know, cash, cash pouring in orders. I gotta tell them to wait a half a year and shit before they get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They like, hey, we ain't messing with, hey, we ain't messing with dudes no more. We cutting the off and shit. I can't go yeah. out like that, son. That's bad business, huh? yeah. So, bad fact. So, if you want t-shirts. From over there, you gotta put the order for t-shirts now. That way you have them by the summertime. Sure. <laughs> Amazing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I got the I got the hoodies right now. You know, it's it's winter war season right now, so it's time to get the hoodies and sweaters moving. So anybody wanna come uh, you know, interested in grabbing the off with these squad hoodies, you know what I mean? We got multiple colors. Um, my man's rocking them right now. Y'all see it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come get fresh to death and shit. We got I got the new joints too, the uh the Comet, the Comet edition with the King Tut head and all that, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So I see you got the, um your little your little logo on the label too in the back. Oh yeah, so I ain't fucking him, man. You ain't gonna see <laughs> your son, your son. You ain't gonna see Doomsday with Fruit of the Loom on the back, son. <laughs> <laughs> Make it official. Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be official. When my son was checking it out, I said, "Oh, he got the label in the back." Okay, all right. That's yeah, what's up. I had to get I had to get the stitch in the label. All that done up, you know what I'm saying? Cause I say if I'm gonna do it, I gotta do it right. You know what I mean? So this 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 hoodie I got on actually came from overseas. Yeah, what is bond? Yeah, because the material feels different. Like you tell the difference in the cotton. You know I'm saying the cotton feel. It don't yeah. feel like something that was made over here. You know what right, I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah exactly. it's more, you know what I mean? It's nice. You know what I mean? Nice well, size. Well, you, can, you can tell. You know, it's, it's good quality. You know what I mean? And that, and that's the crazy thing. Like like his quality is marble. So you know what I'm saying? If he get Perfect that that promptness, we be good money, man. <laughs> Hold up, you know. But I got the Scullies too. I got the Scullies. Oh, let me let me see what I got on deck. Hold on, yeah. pull that stuff out. You know, see see how we go. Radio, man. My man, Doomsday. Take the head off squad gear. 
You know what I mean? Make sure y'all tune in. Hit him up. Get on Facebook, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Hit him up. He got, he got it for y'all. Yeah, he's back at he got you. Got you yeah, so so you know we got the beanies, we got the beanies right now. You know what I'm saying, like money green joints. Okay. All stitching, all embroidered. You feel me? This, this came from overseas. Got, yeah, all this, all this. You know what I'm saying. This is a new Comet, the Comet edition. It's the last born who that got right here. Okay. You know what I mean? Say true kings on it. You know what I'm saying? We got that. We got the all the all red joint. You know what I'm saying? Um all for these squad hoodies. And also too, I, I got something for the queens too. You know what I mean? The the doom daisy shit. Doom daisies. <laughs> doom daisies. Word up. I got I got the leggings. I got the leggings for them and and you know the v-neck cut off um sleeve shirts. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they good money too, you know what I mean. I might have to, I have to definitely order one for my wife, man, because she's yeah. she's getting on me already. Like, about she's seen the hoodie, she said, Why ain't you ordered me a hoodie? I said, like, You don't, don't work. Know. Yeah, you know, you got it. You got to do something, you know what I mean? So you don't know what to say. She's about, Why I ain't order your hoodie? But I'm definitely get one of those, uh, yeah. you know, the ladies' joints sure. for her. Yeah, yeah, that'd um, be a good, you know, that'd be a good gift for her, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So we can we talk about that. Um, oh, real quick, I want to go, I want to go to your name. I'm saying, How you come up with the name Doomsday? Well, Doomsday. The, the D double O M stands for destroyer of oppressed minds. And that's the whole thing with the D double O M. You know what I mean? A lot of heads would always ask, oh, you screaming D double O M. We know it's for doomsday, but the, the meaning is destroyer of oppressed minds. You know what I mean? The, the headless you horse, the, you know, the headless horseman, more or less, was just, you know, anytime I touch the mic, I make sure I come for the, come for the heads. You know what I mean? So, like, when I touch that shit, there shall be none after me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no doubt. Because you've been, how long you been rapping now? How, long, how many years you been rapping now? Man, God. Man, hot, man. For eons, centuries, man. <laughs> <laughs> that would feel like, right? Forever. Yeah, before, before time before time was considered time. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. But, man, I mean, physically, since I was like knowledge equality, you know what I mean? Like 16. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's when I probably start really taking this shit serious and writing. Like, don't get it wrong. Like, I've been spent since, like, knowledge, understanding, like, 13, God. Like, you know, I was in Now Wild around that time up in Strong Island. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. Me me and my comrades, you know, we'd be blowing down some L's or whatever, skipping school and shit like that. And we'd be hot, we'd be uh, over there behind it. Because they, they, they grocery store, they used to have the wall bombs, the wall bomb yeah. joints. So we used to be spitting in the alley and shit, just having ciphers. You feel me? Mm. But then, then a little bit later, you know, it, I start writing. You know what I'm saying? Cash is like, yo, you should take it a little more serious. You know, start recording and shit. So I start writing, and like the first time I actually got into the stool, it's probably like I was like, like I said, about 16. You know what I mean? Okay, and you've been rocking hard ever since, because I know you got. Well, it's born ever since. Several uh, projects out. You know what I'm saying? Like how many how many joints you dropped so far? Shit, God man, I had, man, it's crazy joints, man. Um, I'm gonna say probably like all together, like four, like probably now nah, probably like four or five whole like album between albums and mixtapes. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Absolutely. You know what I'm That's saying? You got, you got put like 14 joints on there at least. You know what I mean? Get the people. You know what I'm saying? You know they money. The music, money's yeah. worth. Hell yeah. So speaking of, because you got a project out now. That you about to drop, or you know, actually has been released already, right? Yeah, the new, the yeah. new project. Yeah, yeah, the single. I got the single moving right now, God called Master of the Art, um, featuring the homie Four Rise from ATL. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, he, he, for those who might not know him, you know what I'm saying? He, he was rocking with uh, Disturbing the Peace. That's Ludacris's homie. Yeah, yeah, Disturbing the Peace. That's his. Uh, that was his label. Yeah. Um, so you know, back up. Yeah, he grew up with the uh, from what he told me, what I seen, you know. What I mean, he grew up with with Luda and shit, like since they was like knee high and shit, you know what I mean. Mm. But I squared it up with him and uh, reached out to him and shit, because at first I didn't even know who he was. Like, I don't, I didn't remember who he was. You feel me? Right. So my man said hit me, 
and was like, yo, Dooms, yo, you, yo, you gotta holler at four hours, son, sons of beasts. And I was like, I was like, who? I was like, who the fuck is four of ours, kid? You know what I'm saying? I don't know who the fuck you, you know, you know, must respect to the guard and shit, you know what I mean? But I, I, I didn't remember. So when I went to his page, well, I went to his son IG page, then he, he got mega freestyle, you know, son, son got like 2,000 freestyles on there. Oh, shit. All right, I got to check that out, definitely. Yeah, so so when I seen him, then I was like, you know, he looked familiar, but then I found that he was disturbing the peace because back in the day, he, had, he was rocking the board. He got dreads now. So long story short, God, I was like, all right, yeah, he, he nice. So I hit him up, chopped it up, built with him a little bit. I said, yo, God, I got this ill-ass beat. I know you can body this shit. And I said, I'm going to send it, send it out to you if you're feeling it. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll, we'll make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So I sent it to him. He's feeling it. So I say, boom. So from there, God, we created that master of the art, masterpiece. What I wanted to do is uh, incorporate the five elements of hip-hop all into one joint. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And so, you know, you'll hear the scratching and then shit cutting up through the hook. And then, you know, with the video, I end up flying down to ATL for the video and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, linking up with him down there for the for the shoot. And, uh, you know, I I took the I took the DJ. I got the DJ in there. I got the graffiti artist shit. You know what I'm saying? I got the B-boy in there, God. The MC in. Then the knowledge. You know, the knowledge just come with it in the vibes already. You feel me? Already. Hell yeah. So, so it's gonna everybody gonna feel that energy, God, when they when they hear this shit, man. When they, when they a lot of heads hurt, but when they actually catch that visualization of seeing it, they're gonna feel that energy ten times more. You feel me? The single's out now, right? Right now, but the video's not released yet, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, the single's out right now. We showing um, you know, all the digi platforms, uh, iTunes, Apple, Apple Music, uh, Deezer, um. Spotify, all that. yeah, all that, God. Spotify, you know what I'm saying. The the the, the vid right now is getting chopped up and edited. So I'm gonna say more or less, maybe like a week and a half, two weeks, we'll be ready to push that shit and blast off. You know what I mean? I need that, bro. You gotta definitely send me that. Know what I mean? I oh, yeah. I got. Oh yeah. I heard the track. track was dope as hell. The track we sent it to me. the tracks to me, and I was like, all right, yeah, he got something right here. You know what I mean? Definitely got oh, something right here. So oh, I can't wait to see oh. that video. Yeah, God, I see. Let me, I'm going to go into the joint real quick, like <clears throat> part of self. Matter of fact, when you go into the track, then we, I'm going to go into the shit and um, hit, hit some heads up the um, link on, man. Anybody out there tuning in right now, hit, hit the link, you know what I'm saying, in a minute. And uh, if you got any questions or whatever, you know what I'm saying, yeah, come yeah. build with the God, man. Come build with us and shit, you know what I mean? We put some you on live with us, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Just for a couple questions. Or you can hit the... Uh... You can chat with us, you know what I'm saying, on the Facebook. We come up on our um on our platform here. We can chat with y'all. If you got any questions, yeah. definitely hit us up. You, know you said that you, you hit me with that link, God, right? You got it. The first bond, you got it. You know what I mean? So right. so the, so when so the singles out now, the video will be out in two weeks. When does the full project y'all? What's the name of the full project? Yeah. Well, I didn't I ain't I ain't really put um the joints together to do uh like a whole album. I'm just making more or less just pull, uh, pushing out singles right now. You feel me? Okay. All right, so you're putting out one at a time right now. Yeah, because how, how I see it, man, I used to do that, you know, push out an album with, you know, 14, 15 jewels on it and, um, mm -hmm. you know, cast and tune in and get it and all that and show support. But right now, it's like I want to give everybody – I want everybody to soak it in. Like you, you give someone an album. Sometimes it's almost like giving a, a whole steak to a baby. You know what I mean? Right, right. They Especially might taste they, a little. They gonna taste a little bit, but they ain't gonna digest it properly. Right, because like before, back in the day, we get somebody like we should listen. To, we should listen to CDs from beginning to end. Now, right. I mean, people tend to stand that that long no more. Exactly. You know I mean? so getting their singles. So that's that's what that's what the uh, you know the phase of hip hop is at right now. Yeah. A lot of singles are being pushed. You know what I mean? Because with the streaming and all that. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's good to just put out you know them singles that you know, what I'm saying, you know every couple of months, or whatever. Just say make sure you stay relevant along with the video. Plus, it's good because month people used to put out four projects, maybe only two or three videos. But with that, while you're doing the singles every month or two, you can put out a, a video along with the single for every every joint that you put out. You know what I mean? Word so you want that visual as well. Word up. You know I mean? exactly. And like out, some, of the, some of the joints, some of the joints too, God, that I had did previously that's on uh the digi platforms like Spotify, iTunes, and all that too. 
uh, some of the collabs I had with uh, uh, with the homie uh, Head Ice, you know what I'm saying, up there in Harlem. You know, piece of Head Ice, man, you know, battle champ, you know what I'm saying, he a beast, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. not a heads no Head Ice is and shit. But we squared it up, but you know, I pushed that I pushed that Jew out probably like a little minute ago. But I'm gonna end up still backtracking and doing videos for him. You know what I'm saying? Because Absolutely. I feel like you know a lot of people seen them, but I wanted, like I said, I want I want the masses to really see and absorb my my collective work. You know what I mean? And by doing doing the visuals and the, and the videos for them will allow it to soak in a lot more and say like, damn, yo, this cat's you know his lyricism is superb. You know what I mean? And I, that's why I want to give him this this real artwork, man. Absolutely. So speaking of, I mean, hip hop nowadays, like how do you feel about what hip hop is now compared to where it was back in the early 2000s, the 90s, you know what I mean, in the 80s and stuff? Yeah. I mean, shit, man. You know, <laughs> I mean, right now, I mean, don't get it twisted. There's a lot of ill artists right now, right? Don't get hey, that, yeah, it is. Know? It's a lot. It's, you know, it's, it's just a new, it's a new vibe, man, you know? I mean, it's still it's still boom bap around. It, it, boom bap ain't never gonna go nowhere. You feel me? That raw mm-hmm. shit ain't never gonna go nowhere because it that's that's the foundation of hip hop is the streets and and just that raw material and that raw elements is that's part of hip hop. So that's never gonna go nowhere. You feel me? But um, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like right now, it's a different it's a different vibe. You know what I'm saying? They you know. You know, they went from the mumble shit, you know what I mean? And it's still rocking with that mumble shit, but, you know, with I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of cats, you know, to each his own, you know what I'm saying? But that's what makes hip-hop, hip-hop different flavors. It's like a, it's like a whole stool, man, when you start adding potatoes and, you know, corn and carrots in there, you know what I'm saying? That's what makes the whole stool good, you know what I'm saying? That definitely keeps it alive, you know what I'm saying? Hip-hop goes through phases, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, hip-hop is... It's for the youth. I ain't say it's just it's not only for the youth, but it comes from the youth. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you take it like when you know how it was in the 70s when Grandmaster Flash and them was out. You know what I mean? And then take bring it to the 80s when Curtis Blow and Run DMC, you know what I'm saying, was on the scene. And then to the 90s, you know, with Biggie, Wu Tang, and Jay-Z, you know what I mean? So it goes through phases. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop goes through phases, no. definitely. But like I said, the, the origin never changes. You know what I'm saying? The originality never changes. It's still gonna be hip hop. You know what I mean? Like you said, that, that boom back is never going to go anywhere. Like, that boom back is, is there forever. You know what I mean? So, exactly. how's the hip-hop culture uh, over in Allentown where you at? Like, how's it like how's it presented over there in PA where you at? Man, there's a lot of ill artists out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of a lot of MCs out here that don't really get seen as much, um, except maybe a few of them. You know what I mean? A handful that's really expanding out in, in and really manifesting, you know, what they're trying to accomplish and all that. But I feel like it's it's almost like an oversaturation, you know what I mean? But I feel like that that's how this whole game is right now. It's like oversaturated with just rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's rappers and then you got artists. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You, like I feel like this, God, like, you know what I mean? Anybody can really rap, put words together that rhyme and shit. Like, you know, a five-year-old can do that. You know, my little my little seeds can do that. You know what I'm saying? Put words together that rhyme. But to, like the artistry right. of it, or the artistry of it, not too many people can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. The MC, like, basically, you know, we like the MC, the master ceremony. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference between an MC and a rapper. You know right. what I mean? You know, you got the MC that's, that controls the whole, the whole aspect of the music itself. You know what I'm saying? You know. Bring bring the people out, you know what I'm saying? Control the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Then you got a you know a rapper, you know, they can say just put words together and spit, like you know what I mean. But it's very rare. I can say rare, but nowadays you don't find a combination of, of, of you know what I'm saying of the two. Like you know, in the nineties we had Jay Z, Biggie. You know what I'm saying there was MCs, there was rappers, but it was MCs. Wu Tang, you know what I'm saying, it was it was, a, was a, a clan of rappers, but it was the MCs. You know what right. I mean, it was able to control the crowd. You know what I'm saying? The ceremony, DMX. He's a rapper, like he's dope ass. He can spit, but he's an MC. Like you see that nigga perform, it's a whole different thing. Right. You know I mean, besides him just rapping. You know what I mean, that's one thing I loved about you because when you came out to the shows in Philly, you know, so you put it on the show. You know what I mean? Well, you yeah. actually put you put the shit together, you put the time, put the shit together. A lot of artists ain't doing that no more. You know what I mean? They just sitting there and you know they 
<laughs> they just spitting shit on stage. Like it's it's, yeah. it's crazy. Like me personally, me personally, like I, I, I don't listen to a lot of the new hip hop. You know what I'm saying I, I, I can't. I, they must, my son might play some shit. I might like bow my head to. You know what I mean? Now every now and then, but you know most most of that shit. You know what I mean? I'm I, I like yo, throw that shit out the window. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I feel you on that, God. Like you know that's why I think the underground and uh, talk to artists like yourself because y'all bring that real hip hop, that boom bap shit. You know what I mean? Well, and like you know what I'm saying. It, you know different strokes with different folks. You know what I mean? You know somebody might like trap. Somebody might not like boom bap, you know what I'm saying? Some, you know, they might like some other shit, some drill shit. So, you know, hip hop brings all that to the table. You know, it's it really it really depends on uh the listener's preference of what they like. You know what I'm saying? So I got another question real quick. How do you feel about what you think about like all these MCs getting murdered nowadays, bro? Like every time to turn around the news, another rapper getting shot and killed. Like is, yeah, the, is, is the rap game that dangerous? Or Motherfuckers gotta lose their lives in order to be a rapper. You think it's that you gotta be that dangerous? Yeah, man. I, man, that's crazy, God, that you said it. Cause um, right when we got done shooting the film, um, the video for Master of the Art down at ATL, you know, shout out to my my, my homie and comrade, uh, Angel Hitman, uh, Vision Vision Spirits Films. You know what I mean? He shot the video for uh, for me. Uh, dope dope videographer. So make sure um. Y'all out there, check them out. Vision Spirit Films. Uh, but yeah, we was down there. Once we got once we got done, we came back up. And the crazy shit is that then when we come back up, then I heard uh King Vaughn, uh King with King Vaughn, and he got body. Yeah, King Vaughn, yeah. Yeah, he got killed. Young boy got killed down there, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. Some we had just left him down there, you know what I'm saying? And you know. There's just a lot of shit going on, son. You know what I'm saying? If it's not, if it's not our people's getting shot by the cops, it's it's you no know, our own people ignorance and and we getting killed by our own peoples. You know what I mean? If it, if it ain't that, then we got to worry about these these engineered viruses that they tamper with in these laboratories. Because th when they do that, they releasing it on us first. We the first people that they release that exactly. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we got multiple, we got multiple things coming at us in, in all types of different directions. And you know, we gotta just try, you know, we survivalists, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we not going nowhere. We built for this, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. The original shall yeah, be first, shall be last. Know what I mean, yeah, word is born. And then you know, for cats to uh be shooting over shoot each other over nonsense, man. It's ridiculous, man. Like I said, they, you know, they build powers. They, you know, they mentally blind, deaf, and dumb, and they don't see see what they're doing to to our own culture, man. And you know, that's what all these uh these white so called supremacists they want. They they let they love they thrive off of that shit. Like yo, we was gonna put some guns in the hood, let them get drunk. I remember I remember seeing um I remember seeing this one uh grand uh, grand wizard cat. It's, it's uh. Ku Klux Klan cat was talking about what they usually do is go down into into the communities, whether it be Chirac, D, you know Detroit or whatever, that they'll go down with truckloads of guns, drop the guns down in the middle of the neighborhoods with some alcohol, some liquor and shit, and and just dump that shit off and haul ass because they know that our people's gonna sip on and shit wild the fuck out and they you know off off each other, so they don't gotta do nothing. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. And, and then, like, you know, the, uh, put all the it was crazy you said that because they was doing the same thing doing, a, doing, doing like when all the riots was going on and everything. Like you yeah. have motherfucking white people coming in the hood, dropping off damn it, uh, you know, you know uh, bricks and shit. Yeah, was, you know what I'm saying? Bust out the window. What type of shit is that? They, they called a couple of them like, like yo, what the fuck y'all doing out here? Dropping off bricks. You know what I'm saying? So people can start busting out windows and shit. And they haul ass. So they won't get the blame for the shit. You know what I mean? That shit was crazy as hell. You know what I mean, like I read that yeah. shit in the news, like damn, everything. They did. They, 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 exactly they, what you're talking about too. Yeah, they was they was dropping <laughs> off like they was dropping truckloads of bricks in the hood. Like, yeah, right, right. like yo, son, that shit yo, yo, like the, yo, son, that shit looked like the Mario Brother game. Like they dropping off bricks like Mario and shit. <laughs> like what the fuck part of the game is this, son? Huh? 
And what's crazy is what's crazy is that our peoples, our peoples with our peoples would feed into that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Especially they, younger people, don't they? They they like they, look at oh wow. They they feed right into that shit and start running with it. Like, nah, man, we gotta think, we got we have to think better than that. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these businesses, you know what I'm saying, they may not be owned by us, but we do, we do have a few that is owned by us, but it's still this is shit that we need in the hood. Like, come on, man. Like, how you gonna burn down our only grocery store? Shit like that. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? It's bad enough we gotta go out to the town right. as it is to go shopping and all that. You know what I mean? I you know, but it, it's just crazy, man. It's yeah, crazy. The thing man. is, you know, the thing is, God, man, it's, yeah, it is crazy, man. It, it, it's like we gotta start wising up. And that it took a minute. It took a minute before before when we was out there, we seen we seen all these. All these divine evils was the ones actually breaking, sparking the shit up, lighting the fires. You know what I'm saying? And then we start catching That's on, it. and we was like, "Oh shit, okay." They 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 on some funny. They on some real, met you know, strategizing shit. You feel me? That's the exactly. thing. We got we got to start strategizing and see beyond all this shit, God. It's this is a psychological war. You understand what I'm saying? This is psychological warfare. It goes, it goes beyond just you know the cops shooting us physically and bodying us. They, they, they been the psychological warfare been in existence for a very long time, and that, and, and truthfully, that's more, that's more dangerous than them killing us with their guns. It's, it's, yeah. it's, you know, they it's started that shit. You know, back in slavery, like. Psychologically, because they took our name from it to our culture from us, you know what I'm saying? So psychologically, they, they try to change it, turn us into animals, you know what I'm saying? By taking all taking everything from us, to start starting way back in slavery. I mean, oh. and now now that it's not physical slavery anymore, you know what I'm saying? It's more of a mental slavery. So, but that psych uh, psychological warfare has been, has been practiced ever since then. You know what I'm saying? They still doing it. People just not realize like that's it's the same shit. You know what I mean? It's the oh, same me. shit. Like my cousin I thought about to do a track called Chain Game. You know what I mean, it's basically he's talking about the, the, the mental slavery that, we, that we're dealing with right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying it's gonna be a dope project. Shout out to my cousin Mike, because like you know, we gotta we gotta start being more aware, man. Like people say they're aware, they, they say they see the shit, but they, they act like they don't you know say either they act like they don't, or they don't do anything about it, they don't talk about it or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. we gotta make some moves, man. We really gotta make moves, bro. like it's, it's still possible to have a black Wall Street, you know what I'm saying? It's still possible to do that type of shit, you know what I mean. We just got coming together as a people. That's the problem. Like they, 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 they divide us so much. You know what I mean, we hate each other so much we can't come together. Yeah. You know that, what I mean? That's, that's the thing. You know, uh, yeah, this whole psychological warfare, man, it's it's a danger more dangerous than guns, man, because it lasts longer. You know what I mean? If you could get it, if they could get into our heads, absolutely. If they could get into our heads and if uh you know, change the way how we think of ourselves, change the way that we perceive, um, you know, our communities, uh, the way that we uh, teach our babies, you know what I'm saying? If they can, if they can tamper with that, that shit will pass down from generation to generation and, and destroy us. But now we, we starting to pick up a little, a lot more and saying, yo, you know, this is the type of game that they, they playing, you know what I'm saying? So we got to be the masters of ourselves and the masses of, of of our way of thinking you know what i'm saying that's that's see everything in this universe and in, in this reality god is all mental you know what i'm saying it's all mental and it's all conscious energy you, you feel me absolutely absolutely it's so all, it's, you, you said the best you said it right you know what i mean we have to take <clears throat> we have to be aware and conscious of what we're doing and what we're saying how we you know what I'm saying how we're teaching our kids because that psychological psychological warfare it's being passed down from generation to generation. You know what I'm saying? It lasts for generations. Like, bro, it's been over 400 years now. You know what I mean? We shouldn't be going through the same shit we was going through when we were slaves. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. We shouldn't be confused about who we are. We are, we are kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? Like, people, we are kings and queens. Like, bro, we, this, this is this is our planet. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. This is our realm. And we need to be in touch. But, you know, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, within time, like, things yeah. get better. Yeah, God, like this whole thing, man, it's, 
it's it's a big game that is being played with with us. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that we we the pawns if we allow if we allow them to uh, have us like that. You know what I'm saying? But we can no longer be pawns to this game that they designed for us, whether it be religion, um, politics, you know, health. You know, it's um, man, it's it's all a game. It they it's strategically put together, and it's been done like that for centuries and centuries ago, and uh, you know we got to break out of it. You know what I'm saying? And, and the first way to do that, the first way to do that, it has to start with ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It has to start with the way that we uh, the way that we think. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, everything is conscious energy. Um, around us that you know this whole reality is conscious energy it's in the mind you know what i'm saying so um the first thing that we have to do it starts with us and uh we have you know like they said um that a lot of people are familiar with the statement um uh as a man thinks a man is you know as as you think that's how you talk you know what i'm saying so you know you create your own reality you know what i'm saying and these and these divine evils um, and these so-called powers to be um, knew knew the the science of that. You know what I'm saying? So, the, you know, but we we are the but we we're the creators of that science. So, you know, we just you know our people just lost the um how to uh, utilize that science, you know, to our benefit. But now it's it's time to um you know that's why my music god like I use that as a tool to uh, build build with our peoples and build with the babies. To say like, yo, you have this power within you. That power of that consciousness is it is of you. You are of it. You know what I'm saying? You are the true living. Like you are the true and living. So you have this energy that can be reactivated. You know what I'm saying? Per se, you can reactivate this conscious energy that they that they uh, kept you blinded to. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be um, you know. This bullshit they, they show you on TV, they program you to think a certain way. They teach our babies to think a certain way since, um, you know, the school system. You know, we got to break them out of that. So we got to reprogram them. And I use hip hop to uh, do the reprogramming so we could get our minds right. You feel me? Exactly, because that's what we need. Because when you listen to the radio, bro, I, I, I don't hear none. I don't know if you hear any. I don't hear no conscious music on, on the radio at all anymore. You know, not no conscious, conscious hip hop anyway. You know what I mean, so because they could all through programs, same thing with TV. Like, bro, like in my lifetime, I've been here a little bit more than 40 years. You know I'm saying I've never seen as much uh homo uh sexual activity on TV as it is now. You know what I mean, right. when I was growing up, you know what I'm saying, you know, not, not saying so where Twitch is on, like, I would, bro, whatever they, whatever they can do is what we do, or her, whatever, you know, what I'm saying, whichever it is. But when we was growing up, you barely even seen that stuff on TV, man. You barely seen two people kissing on TV, especially if it wasn't cable. But right. now, right. you can watch them to any channel now. There's so much homo, I'm saying, homosexuality yeah, they, going on. They, 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 they say, push it crazy. <laughs> Word up. Yeah. I feel you, God. I feel you on that. Like, they, right now, they pushing it real hard on the seeds, you know what I'm saying? And, uh. It's crazy, man. Every everywhere you go, you see, you know, like like you know, everybody got their own free will to do as as they will. And uh, you know, if that's their type of lifestyle, then that's that's that path that they chose and whatever. But they push it, they push it now on the babies. You know, it's in the cartoons, it's in magazines, it's in it's in the social media, you know, whether it be two females or two two dudes, you know, doing some more other shit, you know what I'm saying? You know. If, if that's a person, if that's an individual's lifestyle and they, and they want to choose that path, then then so be it. But don't push that onto the minds that are just developing. Yeah, they, they, exactly. The minds are just developing the seeds. You feel me? They, 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 their minds is a sponge. So they see that shit they absorb it. You know what I mean? And, yeah, you, exactly. you know, maybe that's the right way of life is, is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Forcing that shit on the... But you know that's that's why that's what's all about change. Like that's why we gotta continue doing the things that we do. As far as you know, so what you do with your music, as far as what I do with these interviews and talk the real shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. We gotta we gotta do that. Because yeah, now, you, you gotta constantly put out the truth, man. Because the truth, it's you know, shit crazy, be hitting God. To yeah, it's crazy, God. Because well, like I, now in the industry, the industry, you feel me? These um, these big execs and all that. You know, they 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 telling these new artists that they getting. 
under their wings, like, yo, you gotta do this to stand out now. You got you gotta put a skirt on to stand out. You gotta you gotta carry around a, a purse, a man purse and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like hip hop was never hip hop was never about that. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop nah. was never about that, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they bring in something different. They they telling these artists, these new artists, and they so hungry. These artists are so hungry, like they want to get on so bad and get out the hood so bad. They willing to do anything possible to get that guap. <laughs> it was just crazy. It's crazy, you know? man. And that's, that's, of course, that's the way they got our people thinking now. You got to do anything to get out. You know, to get out of the situation that you're in. Yeah. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a limit to everything, bro. Like. You know what I'm saying? You go, there's ways to get out of the situation. You gotta make a you gotta make a way. You know what I'm saying? You got you don't have to let allow these people to force this stuff on you in order to get out of the situation. Nah, you gotta you gotta you gotta make a way, you gotta hustle, you gotta you gotta keep pushing, you gotta build. You know what I mean? Exactly. But, exactly. But like and said, it's like man, you know you gotta, it, keep putting out there that, that positive energy like we do, make sure you know what I'm saying make, get, get our season a, a better chance, you know what I'm right. saying, than, than they're getting that. Yeah, son, like we gotta. That's what I'm saying, man. That's why they call. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm coming for heads, son. Like everything that I do and everything that I write, son, I'm gonna make sure that there's a there's a jewel and off with the head squad. You already know. Make sure y'all come <laughs> scream at me, man, for the off with the head squad hoodies, man. You know what I'm saying? It's it's more than just it's, it's more than rap. It's more than rap, man. It's about building. It's about you know changing the way that our people think through the art of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And that's why they, that's why they scared to have, you know, that's why they scared to have cats like me on the radio, on mainstream radio and shit, because they know I'm going to give it to them. I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them the raw. I'm going to give them the truth. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about that fucking paper. I don't care about no contracts or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So cats like me, they scared to sign me, son, because, you know, I'm going I'm to pump that fear into their hearts. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, and that's why I, that's why I got this platform for artists like you. you know what I'm saying they, they get the opportunity to speak and, and, and play the music because the mainstream ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying that's why I build these platforms for artists like well, yourself. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, so I appreciate that. Like too, I said, we're gonna well, um, we're gonna, we're gonna get, to get into a couple of those tracks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let, yeah. let people hear what you got going on. Um, yeah, yeah. Singles out now, right? It's called Master the Art. Yeah, singles out now, Master the Art. On all digi platforms, Spotify, you know, download, stream it, share it. You know what I'm saying? Salute to the God for Rise. Salute to Vision Spirit Films. You know what I mean? For shooting the video. Make sure y'all go cop that. Master the Art. That's the new single right there. And the video should be out about, about two weeks. The video should be about out in about two weeks, weeks right? About two weeks. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel yeah. with the notifications so when it does come, Y'all, y'all get that. Y'all get the first heads up. You know what I'm saying? It's YouTube.com. Doomsday 100. Dooms with a Z. Doomsday 100. Make sure y'all subscribe. I don't know. Dooms with a Z. Not an S, but a Z. Zigzag Word zig, up. nigga. Word <laughs> up. Word up. Let them know what other platforms they can find you on, God. Let them know what other platforms they can find you on. Oh man, I'm on all of them. My J shit, man. I'm on uh Twitter at Doomsday Seven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh. Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Doomsday 100. You know what I'm saying? Uh, IG, y'all can uh, make sure y'all follow me on IG. You know what I mean? Support the movement. Doomsday 7. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all definitely, you know, I'm always coming with some new content. So make sure y'all rock with me, man. I'm going to give y'all that raw hip hop. And I'm, I'm doing this shit for y'all out here. I'm doing this shit for our peoples. And man, yo, man, I got so much shit in store. Y'all don't even know. So for 2021, <laughs> this shit about to get real, really deadly, son. You know what I'm saying? We got I got a whole bunch of other collabs coming up that's already done. You know, um, I don't really want to give it away too much, but you know what I'm saying? Uh yeah, yeah. We got I got another joint coming up. It's already laced up with the with the with the homie grab from Black Hand, you know what I'm saying? From Queens. Okay, and the best, best police Supreme, Supreme Lines Radio gonna have it first. You know what I mean? We we'll have it yeah. first. There's all the exclusive no. stuff you know, coming through us. Yeah, you know I mean, um, bro, I'm thank you for coming on, man. I appreciate you, man. You know what I mean? Let's no. like, say, no. say you've been no. you've been rocking with me for for years, man. And 
Damn near, yeah, damn near 10 years almost shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> been, a de- been like a decade, my G. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna try to make a century, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. But like I said, bro, just keep doing what you're doing, man. I, I, I got one. I'm not asking about the uh, the ladies joint because my wife, you know what I'm saying? She won't kill me if I don't get something for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I got yeah. to reach out to you about that. Yeah, make, make, make sure, sure y'all everybody that's listening to tuning in. Yeah, hit my man Doomsday up. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, but sure, I'm going to let them know where they can get the um the gear from, too. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Man, how we do the yeah. things, man. Got the on, got the online store and everything moving, man. We gotta do a real official for 2021. You know what I mean? So, yeah, D Day 100 Gear dot online web dot shop. You know what I'm saying? They can go right on today. That's my online store, and uh, you know whatever they whatever y'all feeling out there, just click it. You know, put it in the cart, just like how y'all do Amazon and all that. And uh, you know, so I'll get I'll get that gear out for y'all. Make sure you put that in the comments, bro. So they can, they can find it. Put it in the comments okay. on a, on a, on, this, on this interview, so they can, they can find that. You well, know what I mean? So make sure uh, y'all stay tuned. Also, I can in. share it too on my platform as well. Yeah, make sure everybody out there stay tuned in. Supreme Alliance Radio, my man, Just King Justice, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Yo, infinite love, yo, real talk. And make sure y'all tune in so we that, got bro. like five jewels. Yeah, God. Wait, how many jewels you got there that, that I sent over? I got like about five or six, five or six of them. Yeah, okay. they, bro, they, they bangers too. So make sure they they will, listen. They will get a taste of all that. They will get a taste of all that. Believe that. Hell <laughs> yeah! Y'all give me that gumbo, man. Matter of fact, you gonna have to definitely bring you back in the new year when you listen to other joints. You know what I'm saying, let the people know what you got going on still. So this this is this is gonna be yeah. a continuation of what we're doing right now. You know what I mean? Whoa. And uh. We're gonna build some more about that, some, uh, some events, you know what I'm saying? So all this COVID shit clear up, you know what I'm saying? Get some events together and start doing some some more yeah. shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let me let I, I wait wait before we get out of here, God. You know, I just want to say this to, to the people who's out there that's listening, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we, we face with a lot of a lot of wickedness out there right now, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. our whole lifestyle in in the way that humanity used to live is no longer gonna be. You know what I'm saying? This is a whole nother way of life that we have to adapt to you know what i'm saying take care of yourself but it all starts here folks it all starts here in the mind first you know what i'm saying Absolutely. don't let them take control of here you know what i'm saying that's that's where the true power is at you know what i'm saying like you know it's time to squad up put put the guns down if we gonna aim aim the guns make sure we aim them in the right direction you know what i'm saying it's time Absolutely. To, you know Rather, if you blood, you cuz, you know, you loke, you know, you uh, Latin king, Nietas, or whatever you repping, whatever you repping, you know, it's time to come together and, and, and really do something positive for our peoples in the community. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at one point in time, you know, the bloods in the, in the crypts, you know, they was for the community. That's how we got to get back to it like that. So no matter what y'all repping, it's time to put, you know, it's time to squad up, man. It's time to squad up. You know, take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Eat the right foods, man. You know what I'm saying? Put down that swan, put down them bogeys or whatever, and, and live and live good, man. Live great. Absolutely. Yo, dudes, man. Thanks again, man. I appreciate you, bro. I'm going to holler at you, right. man. We're definitely going to link up, all right? Much respect. All right, peace. All right, Be bro, safe, bro. man. All right, peace. Yeah. Supreme Lines Radio, man. And this is how we do it. I was on man Doomsday. Shout out to him. You know what I mean? So we're about to get into a couple of joints that he sent to, he sent over to me. About to rock out for a little bit. So y'all stay tuned. It's your boy Just Supreme Lines Radio. And I'm out.